Tonight, more complaints against a company installing fiber optic lines in Gilbert as part of the town's brand new program to bring that service there. One resident told 12 News, our journalist Chase Golightly, the line is completely exposed. And I saw some video of it there, Chase. So uh, you actually got this. This homeowner reached out to us after you saw a story about something else like this with the same company. What's going on? That's right, Troy. He's talking about this one we covered last week where a Gilbert home was flooded after the family said the installation company drilled through a sewage line and flooded their home. While this case we're talking about tonight isn't as severe, the homeowner says he's having trouble getting his problem fixed. They didn't clean the dirt up. When Don Prather so learned his right Gilbert now. neighborhood was getting high speed internet through fiber optic, we were certainly excited about it. What he's not happy with is how it was installed. It's a bit of a mess. That fiber optic cable that's supposed to be buried. And it's just completely exposed. Saying this has been going on for months. When workers first came out to install, they actually laid the fiber right across the top of the driveway, and we had to drive over it for a month or so. Then when he called the company to have them fix it, they put some not great looking caulk down and some duct tape. Which isn't doing the job. Um, that's the cable right there. You can see it wanting to pop out already. You still have wire exposed right there. Yes, there's a good five or six feet of wire there. Uh, we were worried about families and kids tripping over it. Prather says he's called three times to have them bury the line, but nothing happened. In one case, his work order was closed, with officials saying they did bury it, but as you can see, that's not the case. It's very frustrating. It, it, like I said, it's dangerous and unsightly, and uh, we just would like to get it fixed the right way. The company responsible for this installation is Tilson, the same company that another Gilbert family said caused their home to flood with sewage after workers drilled into a sewage line while installing the cable. Definitely not good quality work. We reached out to Tilson about the work and received a statement from Gigapower, the company that hired Tilson to do the construction on its behalf. Part of the statement says, in some cases, a temporary drop is established and will be buried thereafter. If the customer requires maintenance on their installation, please encourage them to reach out directly to their provider, which Prather has, and this is what he's left with. It's definitely not acceptable. Now, walking around that neighborhood, I did see at least one other home that appeared to have the same issue as you can see right here with that fiber optic cable totally exposed. But again, it was just cocked down like what we were seeing with the person we were speaking with tonight. Now, Prather also told me after we spoke, a worker did come out and said, yes, that line did need to get fixed, but he wasn't given a time of when that would happen. When I checked back in with him again today, he said he still hasn't heard from him. We're live in the studio, Chase Golightly, 12 News. All right, hopefully that happens soon. All right, Chase, thank you.